Hello everybody, welcome back to Thornton's Farm on Farming Simulator 22. Uh, I've had mic issues again for some reason and I'm having to re-record the, the voiceover. Um, so a couple of changes and bits and pieces done since the first video. We, as I said, there's going to go and buy some straw because we're starting in the spring. We didn't have any harvest in, so we've got a few bales from the store. And although it's not showing on the floor, there is 40 odd thousand litres of straw in the cow shed. No idea why there's no animation showing it. Just up another one of those little bugs on Thornton, I think. The uh, the Vermeer beer shredder worked quite well, although you have to be careful when picking up using the hitch on the back that you don't fling the bales 50 feet in the air like I did. But it works away fine. Now we have started doing the silage, and as you'll see shortly, we no longer have the Toe Behind Class Jaguar Chopper as it didn't like filling the trailer that the Stuart trailer that we had which I wanted to keep but as you'll find out in a while we don't keep because of the tip area of it but we replaced the Class Jaguar with the New Holland S2200 I really like the look of this Stuart trailer, but as you'll find out later on, we replace it because the tip area in the pit was awful. So I was initially intending to live stream this grass harvest, but YouTube because I've never done a live stream before, I have to wait 24 hours for it to be active on my channel. So live streams will come again soon. We have the Sumo Front Weight by Mark Thor on the front of the class there. We also have another one in the yard for going on the back of the other class. So trying to remember what I think we just get on with the with the harvest using follow me so I have also been lucky enough to find a new a, a backup save for my Camsden series so I may bring it back um, I do have the grazing mod add-on active on Camsden map which will load up with the save and um, I don't think I would add Maze Plus to it because I would lose a lot of the silage and things would change to either Maze Silage or Whole Crop Silage, can't remember what it is off the top of my head but uh, we shall see, I would definitely add the pumps and hoses into it if we revive it um, although I haven't dis I struggle for time to make videos at the moment which is why I was thinking of live doing some live streams but we shall wait and see so as you can see in the background I've also limed all the fields that needed limed this field will need done once it's finished and then we have two other grass fields 10 which is the small one in the yard and 15 I think which is the one over beside the castle I think I may have cut them already I can't remember which I was planning to possibly make hay out of but I may carry on my silage to try and fill up the pit but we shall see 
does seem to be quite a few niggly little things with Thornton's map, but we'll see how we get on. If need be, I will always uh, try a different map, but I do like Thornton's and hopefully we don't really have any issues. But anyway, we shall jump into a time lapse and I will be back with you soon. Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out, see what it's all about But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name My friends are still the same I guess the slow life hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five After with the simple life Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this funny business Cause up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is breakneck paycheck see as I said we swapped out the Stuart trailer due to the tip zone so we've gone for the Brogan trailer from 4D Modern which is a fantastic trailer and I almost went for it to begin with but I just really like the look of the Stuart trailer and of course with being able to have the, the Scotlander UK livery on it kind of appealed to me a bit But well, he hope we have what we have, and as you can see, the money's gone down from whatever it was, maybe fifteen, twenty thousand. Can't remember, because I bought the Magsy Buck Greek for the front of the tractor to push up in the pit. Which you will see that I had to do a good bit of that due to the Stuart trailer. So not much left to do, but not going to get it all in one load I 
I do like this forage harvester and I really, really do like using follow me mod. It's absolutely fantastic. It's on mod hub for anybody that's looking for it. And once you get it set up to onto the correct side for whichever way you're going, you really can't uh, can't go wrong with it. The, uh, you really must find out whether auto drive works for with along with pumps and hoses if that's been fixed or not because I could add that into this series but at the minute I'm quite happy without it it's not a big thing for me auto drive and a lot of people use it a lot but it's not a huge thing for me So what I may do is may put a poll on the channel if you wish to vote on it to whether I revive my comms in series or whether we maybe have a different map. So I know comms has been done a lot by a lot of people. Uh, possibly maple. I know it's set up for with animal grazing and bits and pieces um, and it could be a channel that I may do so, uh, a series that I could do some live streams on um, but uh, we shall wait and see I will, like I said, I will put up a poll and if you all want to vote on it and we'll see how it goes from there I do have no issues with the tipping of this trailer at all. I think we are up about 70% compacted with using the Magsy Buck Rake. I also have the Sumo Front Weight, which I may have mentioned already. And the lid does open on it, it's a lovely action. Yeah, we have 300 odd thousand litres in here at the moment. We will need to do whole crop silage as well for animal feed with Maze Plus, which will be going into the silage pit next to us. So that's the Magsy Buck Break. Again, I think it came from Mod Hub. So we'll just switch off the engines. And I'll get that finished off. For the next video, as I said, I'm going to try and keep these a bit shorter than my usual. Here we have said done the liming on these fields. I'll open the map shortly and we will see what's what. Now, I would need to check double check for sure on the Maze Plus PDF what feed we need for chickens uh, as you can see the pH levels in all the fields bar the three grass fields that we're working the one that I'm currently in 17 and then the other two both uh, need done But what crops we plant, I'm not sure. We do, as I said, we do have Disturbs Growth Calendar installed. So we will be able to plant spring crops. We do need to plow. We'll be using the Maze Plus subsoiler in the grass fields. We will lime them then, put the Maze Plus subsoiler in, I think. And get it a good bit of that done before the next episode as that's only three meters wide so it's very slow but yeah, what crops we plant I'm not sure we will need sugar beets as part of the feed um, we will 
probably go barley in one or two of the fields for whole crop silage. Possibly sugar beets and another, although I would need to get my hands on a sugar beet harvester. If we possibly do one of the smaller fields of sugar beets, we could have the tow behind one as opposed to the self driven. We may do oats and barley. But I'll, say I'll check the PDF to see what feed we need for chickens so we can have some chickens. And when it comes to some certain feeds for the sheep, we would need to go to the shop to buy the likes of carrots or anything like that. I haven't figured out the crop rotation planner yet, but I will do it and hopefully it may help the yield. It certainly it did on 19, I don't know if it does on, it does on this or not. And then we also have the time Stephen Sock check, so I can look in, it'll tell me when the best price is going to be, what the best month is going to be to sell. But on that note, we shall leave the video there. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for a like. And if you want to subscribe, please do. It all helps my channel grow, and I'll see you all again soon on another episode of Farming Simulator 22.